of the political cartoonist of the year. And the winner is Patrick Blower. It so many times, don't complain. <laughs> also, I just want to pick up on something. Can you hear me? Yeah. Something, Cly something Cly said earlier, trying to delineate between the other uh, different types of cartoons. There's a much easier way of looking at it. Gag and pocket cartoons are funny, political cartoons aren't, and that's what I specialize in. Catch and laugh at any of my gag jokes, are in trouble. <laughs> Jonathan, I'm really, really chuffed to have got this award. And uh, you know, after years of chiseling away at the cartoon coalface, uh, it's a great honour, and uh, it's a brilliant early Christmas present. I want to make special mention of Tim briefly. Tim is an indefatigable defender of the cartoon community. He's like our Chopper Harris straight away. <laughs> He never knowingly goes into a tackle without his studs raised. <laughs> and we always wince when he gets into one of his scraps, but we're damn glad he's on our team and not the opposition. <laughs> now, when I, um, when I heard uh, that you were presenting the award tonight, I thought it was very interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, um, I thought I've got to mark this in some way. So I, I'd normally come here by tube. I'd normally come by tube from South East London. I thought, no, I won't. I'm going to come by boat. I was going to I was going to break into one of the boat houses, nip an inflatable, stick a nice outboard motor on it, shove down the terrace, beach up at the palace. I was going to Get rid of my high vis jacket and disappear into the crowd, never to be seen again, and just stand up here. I thought that would be some entrance. Joking apart, they say. I think on behalf of all cartoonists, and we're gonna, I'm going to read and sort of repeat some of what you said. You've given us, you know, you've given us such material. <laughs> and to be fair, not just you, your entire front bench, past and present, and to be fair. The other side of the house too. The it seems incredible that government with such a huge majority has been unable to achieve absolutely anything. <laughs> it's been it's been the richest scene of political cartoons probably forever. Ever since Brexit, the sort of the, the agony of May's premiership, the tomfoolery of Johnson's clown government. And right down to the sad sort of erosion of Rishi Sunak, it's been a treat for us to be able to <laughs> I reckon there'd be more cartoons published of you than migrants have landed in this country. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you've got every single artwork, every single artwork, all the originals, you've got nothing to stop. You can start tonight, you can buy our originals, you can pass your house with them. Because <laughs> the symbiotic relationship between politics and cartoons is we take the piss, you buy our artwork, it gives you immortality, and we get a few pennies in our pocket given how wretchedly hard our profession is. <laughs> I also want to, on a final note, I can't even read my writing, just so bad. I, um, I, I want to pick you up at a note. I agree with you about your, your point about the Telegraph, because it's something we have to address. We like normally to comment on the news, and this, in this occasion, working with Telegraph, we're in the news. And it struck me that these days, Telegraph readers hate this. They hate this, the idea that we're going to be bought by a, a foreign state. Sorry, sorry, a private into foreign individual. Um, and I had this sort of, I had this idea of a cartoon of seeing as everyone else goes on protests every weekend now, it's become the sort of latest thing. I, thought, I imagine this scene of Telegraph readers walking down Whitehall with banners like, you know, no foreign interference of our press. And I imagine at the very front, there'd be some couple from, old couple from, you know, Oxfordshire or Harrogate with a banner at the front in the hymnist red cord drawers and barber with a line, 
from the Cotswolds to the Dean, the Telegraph will be <laughs> Anyway, I want to uh, very brave of you to turn up. Uh, thanks for the award. <laughs>